Today, we bid farewell to some of the world's most cherished figures. Their talent and kindness touched countless lives. Though they are no longer with us, their legacy and inspiration will live on. Rest in peace, your light will never fade. Myra Gomez Kemp was a Cuban-Spanish television host, actress, and singer, best known for hosting the popular game show on Osha show, Responda Otra Vez, from 1982 to 1988. Born on February 14, 1948, she started her career as a college student, appearing in the 1967 B-movie The Death Curse of Tartu, under the name Myra Christine. In the 1970s, she moved to Spain to perform in the Spanish version of the Rocky Horror Show, where she met Argentine actor Alberto Berco, who played the narrator and later became her husband. In 1976, when Un Dos Tres Responda Otra Vez uh, returned to Spanish television in color, Myra auditioned for a role as one of the secretaries, but was instead cast in small comedic roles. Her performances made her a household name by the time she left the show in 1977. Myra passed away in Madrid on October 13, 2024, at the age of 76, due to complications from a fall. Mike Bullard was a Canadian stand-up comedian and broadcaster, born on June 12, 1957. He is best known for hosting two late-night talk shows, Open Mic with Mike Bullard on CTV from 1997 to 2003, and The Mike Bullard Show on Global from 2003 to 2004. He also hosted a radio show called Beyond the Mic with Mike Bullard from 2010 to 2016 on CFRB in Toronto. Bullard started his comedy career at Yuck Yuck's Comedy Club in Toronto in 1988, eventually becoming both an MC and a headliner. His stand-up success led to a television role in 1993 on Friday Night with Ralph Ben Mergui before he got his own late-night show in 1997. Open Mic with Mike Bullard became the first successful Canadian late-night talk show, airing for six seasons and winning two Gemini Awards. At its peak, it even outperformed uh, Keys Off, The Tonight Show with Joe with Jay Leno, and Late Show with David Letterman in Canadian ratings. Bullard was found dead on October 11, 2024, at the age of 67. A friend discovered him at the residence where he was staying, and the cause of death is still under investigation. Lily Ledbetter was a prominent American activist recognized for her battle against employment discrimination in the Supreme Court case, Ledbetter v. Goodyear Tire and Rubber Co. Born on April 14, 1938, she became a leading voice for women's rights and fair pay, later writing and speaking on these issues. In 2011, she was honored with an induction into the National Women's Hall of Fame. President Barack Obama signed the Lilly Ledbetter Fair Pay Act, his first piece of legislation in her name. Ledbetter passed away on October 12, 2024, at the age of 86, though the cause of her death was not made public.